As the North American leader in displacement ventilation, Price has developed a new, efficient field mounting system for DF1 and DF3 rectangular displacement diffusers. This video will walk you through the new installation process for DF1 and DF3 displacement units and should be used in conjunction with the printed instructions provided with your unit. You will need a tape measure, drill, 3 inch long by quarter inch driver bit to fit the drill chuck for screws that secure the angle to the diffuser, a rubber mallet or neoprene hammer, a square, level, pencil, and mounting screws. Step 1. Remove trim cover by placing your finger in the opening and pulling slowly to prevent bending the trim piece. Keep this close by for use in the final step of installation. Step 2. Remove the two screws holding the mounting angle to the corner extrusion. These are used for mounting the diffuser and duct cover sections to the mounting angles. Locate and install the mounting angles to the wall in the desired location. If the diffuser features a base or duct cover, the angles should be mounted off the floor at the same height as the base. They should be installed perpendicular to the floor spaced at an angle width of 1.5 inches less than the width of the diffuser. Ensuring that these are parallel to each other will facilitate the installation of the diffuser assembly. If the diffuser features a duct cover, the additional length of angle that protrudes from the top of the diffuser will ensure that they connect properly and will minimize unsightly gaps. All angles should be mounted at the same time for the diffuser and the duct cover. Use a level to ensure that the angles butted to each other are properly aligned. Step 3. Fasten the diffuser to the mounting angles using a minimum two screws per side. Use the screws that were removed at the beginning of step two. Install duct as required. Fasten duct to inlet. The base cover may need to be removed to access the duct connection for bottom ducted units if one is supplied. Step four. If working with a duct cover, install the duct cover over the mounting angles so that the back of the duct cover is flush with the wall and fastened with a minimum of two screws per side. To finish the installation, put the trim cover back into place and tap in with a non-marking rubber mallet or neoprene hammer. For more information, please visit www.price-hvac.com forward slash installation manuals.